Welcome to my channel. I'm pianist Jun Kim. Today I'm in a space where I store my music. <laughs> I think at some point I will share how I categorize. Well, I need a better system, but uh, how I keep my music and this very space where I usually teach. Uh, right now I teach online, so I use the other space. I hope you enjoy to listen my live performance of Beethoven Sonata in F major. This obviously was recorded before COVID-19. I recently got a hold of this particular recording and uh, I will release it maybe a little by little with you. Um, and I'm thinking maybe at some point I want to have entire concert watch together party. <laughs> I think it's something about experience the whole concert together does something. So I'll think about it and I will ask your opinion along the way as well. So this early Beethoven sonata in F major, I love uh, his different stages of sonatas, you know, Beethoven sonatas, early sonatas, and the mid sonatas like Appassionatas and Balstein, and then the, his late sonatas has different, totally different characters and um, technique even and expressions. And I enjoy each of every single thing about uh, what Beethoven wrote. So this F major sonata has three movements, although it was fairly short compared to you know, his mid or late sonatas. It has every structure that he usually put. The first movement sonata form and the last movement rondo. For me, this piece has a lot of humor. You know, uh, when we think about Beethoven, we think about his struggles of hearing loss and his frustrations or his serious persona, things like that, but or maybe gentleness of his soul as well. But it's it's just sometimes not associate with a humorous person. Maybe Haydn is one of a more humor-oriented kind of a composer. But when he, when Beethoven uh, says some humor, it's really tastefully um, more funny, I would have to say. It's almost like, you know, those serious person, they throw a joke and it's just so funny. So I really enjoy this particular sonata, learning it and performing it and sharing with audience. Especially the third movement has that kind of uh, not stopping movement that drive throughout. And it's actually not easy to play, but at the same time, so much fun. Whenever I play a piece like that, I feel like as if I'm a figure skater, right? And um, I'm sure those figure skaters really have fun to jump on the air and to land it when you be able to land it and kind of glide into the ice. Even though it's risky movement and you never know you will get the complete uh, landing or not, but it's the, the movement itself. It's so energizing and fun. That's how I feel about the last movement. And along with all of this little humor that he put it in the first movement and the last movement, especially, I don't think the second movement is necessarily <laughs> humorous, anything at all, but it was necessary transition to between the first movement and the last movement. So, now that you heard about what I think about this piece, maybe you want to go back and listen to the whole sonata one more time. I was wondering what you could think of this sonata of Beethoven. Do you like this piece? And please share with me what is your favorite uh, Beethoven sonatas. Maybe early Beethoven sonatas because he's, he wrote 32 of them. That's a lot of them. <laughs> or any favorite of Beethoven. Uh, I would love to hear from you. Also, if you didn't sign up for my newsletter, I write bi-weekly newsletter uh, things that resonate with me during those weeks. 
and interesting articles and things that I find fun or helpful for my life and hopefully it's helpful for you. So please sign up, go to pianistnewsletter.com or I will put the link below. If you want to support me as an artist, go to patreon.com slash journey through classical piano where I post exclusive contents and communicate with you exclusively there as well. So I hope to meet you there. Have a good day.